discipleship is the key that mentors new believers to become people of stature and maturity because now we begin to teach them doctrine methodically communicated line upon line now believers now start seeing the value of prayer if you do not know jesus as king many things that are taught in the church would not you will not see their value what is the value of warfare what forces are you fighting again all that you know is it is finished now listen to this ladies and gentlemen i told you earlier on that god can turn water to wine let me tell you how that miracle works he doesn't introduce anything new it is the water you already had he will simply turn it to wine the size may not be affected maybe the color and the taste and the chemical composition that's all that changes but when you stand before his majesty with ashes there are times that nothing can be done over that ashes so here's what he says bring it now you have to trust him enough to take the ashes i told you ashes is the final state of burning from a flourishing tree to a log of wood to burnt coal to ashes a tree wood coal ashes and he says give it to me when you hand it over to him to you it may look like every situation is hopeless then you see him coming with a garment beauty he calls it and he wraps it around you like the father of joseph wrapped the coat of many colors now i don't know what it was before it became ashes it's amazing that when anything becomes ashes you cannot really tell what it was before it is not always wood when they cremate men they also become ashes so it's not always wood even flesh when you burn it intensely it can become ashes when bones are crushed and burnt they become ashes ashes does not reveal what it was before so sometimes listen carefully the law of receiving beauty for ashes is that you must trust god for grace to forget about the ashes because you cannot receive the beauty still remembering the ashes remember ye not the former things i know that you lost your job but for as long as you are still thinking about that job lot for as long as you are still reminiscing on sodom and gomorrah you didn't carry everything i know you left your chair in the parlor while it is being burnt but do you know that God is able to do something in your future? You may never see that chair again. You may never see your loved one again. You may never go back to that office again. Maybe that relationship did not work and it's for real. It's gone. Never comes again. Most believers cannot go forward because their heads are still at yesterday. Their bodies are trying to move forward. But they miss yesterday so much. They do not even see what God is doing today. The law of conversion, receiving beauty for ashes demands that you forget about what that ashes was. That ashes was a beautiful plant. The picture may be with you, but you have to stop it from distracting you. I know that you once had a father, a mother, you once had brothers and sisters, and now they've slept the, slept of, the sleep of death. You may not forget them, but you cannot allow that pain to stop you from moving forward. Agreed, you can have moments of grief for a while, but the time must come, you will tell yourself, I need to move forward. You lost the job 10 years ago. The company has even been folded. Don't sit back and say, ah, I, I remember. My 5 million was in that company. My 10 million was in that company. Oh, the days of railway. Unfortunately, it has gone. I worked in a typewriting company. It will never return again. Stop missing a typewriter. There are better gadgets that can serve. You will not have the privilege of punching them one by one again. Are we, are we together? but you can have a better presentation. Now hear me, do you have the courage to look at the ashes that you've held so dearly? Because to you it is not ashes. You still remember the tree. You still remember the wood. You still remember the coal and the ashes. So when you hold it, others are looking at dust, but you are looking at a story, a story of decline, a story of pain. But do you have the courage to look beyond it and receive his beauty? Jesus is saying, give me the ashes. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. That situation of pain, you cannot live like that after 10, 20 years. Yes, the job issue has come. Yes, the surgery happened and your womb was taken away. Yes, I now, your legs were amputated, unfortunately, sadly. Yes, the accident happened. It truly did. Yes, this happened. You lost your job. Yes, you went to jail for five years. Now you are released and your life, listen, meditating on yesterday and remaining there is like holding on to the ashes. But Jesus is standing tonight. And he's saying, I'm not going to turn that ashes to something else. It is still a miracle. You are waiting for the ashes and you wish, Jesus, if you can, turn the ashes to coal, the coal to wood, and the wood back to a tree. 
this is what I want you to do. Are you not the God that turned water to wine? And then he says, I'm also the God that gives beauty for ashes. So that if your miracle does not afford you turning ashes back to coal, back to wood, and back to a tree, it may never happen again. But he can give you beauty. And look at me. I wish I had time. I would have explained to you what the Bible calls beauty. Beauty there does not mean looks. Beauty means everything that can take away pain. Beauty means everything that can erode the memory of pain and tragedy and suffering. Let me tell you, if it is the God of heaven, there is something he can do in your life. Your mother may never return in this side of God's kingdom. Your father may never return. Your siblings may never return. The job may never come again. Unfortunately and sadly, maybe the marriage may never work again. Unfortunately. But let me tell you the truth. Look at those ashes and present it to the master. Let your hands be empty enough. Then watch what else he gives you. He will give you beauty for ashes. Beauty. So someone looks at you and says, You've been an orphan for 10 years, but it does not look like that in your life. God raised other parents from everywhere to cover for you. To a point where if you tell the story, people will say it's a lie. You mean you've lost your job for 15 years, but today instead of a job, you never went back to the job. But God gave you a business, a flourishing business. You lost the ministry, but now God has called you and placed an apostolic and a prophetic anointing upon you. To an extent that those who knew you as a man of God 10, 20 years, if they, if they say you, they will never believe that you are the one carrying this power again. Do you know Joseph never returned back to his father's house? Read your Bible. You taught Joseph from Egypt. He missed his home. But Joseph did not receive the miracle of turning water to wine. Joseph received beauty for ashes. You thought that Joseph would go back home. He wanted to go back home. He missed the playground. He missed everything that was happening there. But sometimes God does not take you back by turning water to wine. He tells you you may never go back there again. But I will give you something else. Now look at me please. We are about to pray. God something else will always be better than what you had before. Find a way of believing what I am telling you. When God brings any replacement to your life, it will always be better, more superior in quality. But the key is, do you have the courage to give him the ashes? Some of you have been holding the ashes of your pain for 10 years. You've been holding the ashes of regrets for 10 years. You've been holding the ashes of tragedy, financial tragedy, your health for 10 years. Jesus is coming by way of this message tonight and saying, hand it over to me. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. For someone, you may not even hand it over. You may be like the woman with the alabaster box. You would just break that thing and say, ashes, you were once a tree. I played under your shade. I watched men cut you to become wood. I watched fire burn you to become coal. Now you are reduced to ashes. But I'm ready to lay it down because something else is coming. Let me tell you what happens. When you lay down the ashes, he will hold your hands and say, come. You will open up a realm and you will see many trees. You would see that it was an orchard he wanted to give you. While you were weeping over a tree, he now gives you an orchard. And with that orchard, you have many shades to lay in and also bring others into that experience. Ladies and gentlemen, from a human standpoint, there are people we may never stop missing. We've loved people. There are memories that may never leave our minds. Memories of yesterday. But here's what the Bible says. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching forth for the things that are before me. It didn't say forgetting the bad things I've taught you. Things don't have to be bad and tragic. Sometimes you have to just be strong to say, you know what? Yesterday, I wave you goodbye. I love you. I miss you. I'll keep you in my mind, but be gone for good. I have to face the future because that destiny is waiting for me. Don't tell me about the story of something bad that happened. Do you know, Apostle, I would have been married 20 years ago. I understand. Can you hand over those ashes? You are still holding on to it and many good men are coming now. God is saying, can't you see beauty? You are saying ashes of yesterday. Are you willing to give that beauty and get out of the way? I mean, give the ashes and let beauty come. I, my first car, a ghastly motor accident destroyed it. My first crusade, nobody would Leave all those things. Embrace the new. Is someone ready to pray? Go ahead and begin to speak to the Lord. Everyone.
falling online and praying whether you are sitting whether you are standing take any position you are most comfortable but please pray pray everyone pray there is an answer to hopelessness there is an answer to despair there is an answer to confusing tragic situations the answer is found in this message that my God your God is able to make all things work together he may not have caused the all things the all things may not have come from him but he has the power to make all things sad stories all things negative stories all things tragic situations painful situations all things to work together to the good of them that love the lord and to those who are the called koinonia take a minute to invest in prayer beautiful ashes hello there transform believer welcome to transform daily youtube channels commentary section we have come to the end of this series beautiful ashes we posted videos back to back on the different um um segments of this video from the beginning to the end i hope he blessed you you know i hope you were blessed by this video and you were transformed indeed one thing i love about transform the youtube channel is that we bring you content that will boost your work with god we bring it we make sure we complete the sermons if you follow through every of our posts on this channel you will see that we are leading you to a place of spiritual maturity through these sermons and they are indeed blessing our lives even as individuals i want you to see the silver lining in everything god has a perfect plan for you and no matter how bad and hopeless that situation has been god is about to change it exchange those ashes for beauty entirely so do not worry do not be bothered do not be sad do not carry that age-long problem as you have heard there's nothing more i want to say but just to add to what god servant has said and just encourage you in the lord god almighty that god indeed will give you a reason to smile this season god indeed will give you something better than what you have lost he will give you something better than what you have lost he will give you something better than what has died he will give you something entirely different and he will make you proud he will make you happy you will be proud to say i serve this god in jesus mighty name once again do well to like this video share to someone so that they can bless their lives and i will see you when i post another video don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section do that now god bless you bye